is mixed race is mixed race black? The answer is no. There's this thing in America and it's racist. It's called the one drop rule. You could be 95% white. Imagine you've done the ancestry DNA test. I actually done it myself. You could be 95% white. Say for example, you're from Scotland. If you have 5% sub-Saharan, so black DNA, you're classed as black. If that ain't racist, I don't know what racism is. I must be stupid. They're basically saying, if the human person, it was like a, a glass of water, one drop of ribena or something makes you unpurified. So if you're not fully white, if you're not 100% white, you're not white. You're something else. You're an outcast, basically. A lot of people who are mixed race feel like they need to be on one side. They can't accept being mixed race. Now, I don't class mixed race as black. I don't class mixed race as white. How can you be classed as black if your mum is white? How can you be classed as white if your dad is black? You are mixed race. You are in the middle. You're in a league of your own. It's not a bad thing. And that's just black and white. I know people who is Eastern European mixed with Arab and they've said to me, you know, my parent or grandparents, whatever, treated me differently because of the mix I've got. They didn't treat me as well as my other cousins them because they're fully, you know, Eastern European. That's life. There are many children in this world that get treated unfairly and they've got nothing to do with their heritage. There's plenty of children who are fully white, their family's fully white, just like them, and they're treated unfairly. There's children they may be a half sibling, sibling with someone and because another family member doesn't like the father of one of the children, they treat that particular child because they do not like the father of that child, they treat that child badly. I know it. I see it. I know people like that. I know elders who treat certain children a certain way because they do not like the children's father. Life is not fair. So, mixed race, you're in a league of your own. Embrace that you've got a white parent and a black parent. It's not a bad thing. But I know why a lot of mixed race people feel like they need to claim a side. Especially if they are amongst the black community. They feel like they need to be more pro-black. I know people like that. Yeah? I know people but you need to remember one thing if you're mixed race. Not all black people, but some. Man, no, them get all black people with that nigga thinking, yeah? They don't accept mixed race as being the same, you know? They say things about mixed race people behind their back. Now, mixed race people ain't talk of the time. It's not a hot topic, but I've been in conversations with people and they're like, oh, mixed race people are confused. You don't know whether you're black. You don't know whether you're white. Mixed race people feel like they have to be more black to show that they're, you know, one of us. Forget about trying to be on any one side. Be your own person. I've got people in my family. They're mixed race. And they don't even look black. The skin is white, but I don't look at that person and think, oh, that person is not the same grade or tier as me, or they're not, you know, a part of the same family. That is my cousin. 
That is my people, them. I don't even, I've been around tables where, you know, everyone in my family is black, but we've got the odd mixed race person in the family and they don't look nothing like us. I don't look at them like they're different. That is my, my cousin, that's my people, them. Close friend, mixed race. Skin's white. I don't look at him like, oh, you know, he, he's not as great as me. That's my brethren. I don't care what colour. I don't care if he's fucking Chinese. That's, that's my brethren. That's my friend. So all of this trying to, you know, oh, I, you know, I, I just want to be accepted. You know what your problem is? You're trying to fit in. Not all. Some people are like, yeah, I'm mixed race. That's cool. I'm half white, I'm half black. Cool. I am, you know, I'm a Maliga, my own, or whatever you want to call it. I am me. My colour doesn't define me. But other people, they feel like they want to fit in. They need to fit in. They need to feel like they're a part of something. People, they feel like they need to go to certain functions to fit in with work colleagues. Then they might even get fired from that workplace and the college chatting shit about them. Look, that happened to me. Stop trying to fit in with people. Be your own person. You will never get anywhere in life. You will never get as far as you can in life if you feel like you need to fit in. Because what you're going to do is you're not going to make certain moves because you're always thinking in the back of your mind, will I be accepted for this? People know about my YouTube channel. I know I've got family members and people from my school, maybe friends that I used to, you know, associates. They're probably watching this thinking, Jay is an idiot, like, tell them out. Had a friend tell me, oh, Jay, take down that video, man. That video is not a good video. Why did you say that? I ain't taking down shit. And what happened? Man, not even talk to the brother now. So what's the, what's the point? Why am I doing something to appease him? Because he thinks it's not good, it's not bad. I'm trying to fit in with him or fit in with them. And look, man not even chat to the you now. Man could be dissing me behind my back. Could be dissing me behind my back when I'm his friend. Never try and fit in with no one. But you know what it is? Society, they use this term called narcissist. Yeah. It's like a shaming tactic for anyone who thinks highly of themselves. Me, I think highly of myself. I believe I am special. And everyone else should too. But no, if you believe you are special, and you believe you are, you know, something great, you can be something great, society will try and beat you down and shame you and make you think that you are a narcissist. No, it's not called being a narcissist if you think you're great, think you're special. It's called being a fucking man. Or a great woman at that. Narcissist. They call all these little fancy terms and stuff. Try and... Make people feel like, make people feel guilty for thinking that, yeah, I'm something great. Everyone's something special. I know I am. I let no one try to tell me, oh, you know, you're not, whatever. Isn't it? People, he say what you want about me. I do my thing. I don't try to fit in with no one. So, if you're mixed race, if you're half black, you're half white, you're half Scottish, half Trinidadian, except being half Scottish. Half Trinidadian. Don't try and lean to one side. Embrace your culture. Both of them. You're fortunate. Not greater, not worse. You're fortunate to have that culture that you can go to and that other culture you can go to. I know people. I know someone who's mixed race. And then up the standard black and white. Yeah. Yeah, half Chinese, half black. I was actually talking about this not too long ago. And talking about someone we know, myself and someone else, sitting in the kitchen. And I was talking about, you know, how I don't think mixed race people are black. I don't think that they're white. I think they are mixed race. They're in their own, yeah, in their own sector or whatever. Yeah. So this person came up. I think I even mentioned them. And I said, so-and-so, I don't class them as being black. 
Yeah, their culture, just the way you know they conduct themselves. Yeah, it might be like the same as how other black people conduct themselves. Let's say, quote unquote. But that person cannot say that they are black. They cannot say that they are Chinese. They are half half. Irrespective if they know whether or not they're Chinese or not, they don't. Whether they know their Chinese culture or not, they're still half half. Funny enough, the person turned up during the conversation. They came in the kitchen. I had to change the subject. Didn't want to offend them. Are oh, you mad? Come on. You think I changed the subject? I said to them, oh, you know, we were just talking about you, you know. I asked them the question, do you consider yourself to be black or half Chinese, half black? And they said, no, I identify myself as half Chinese, half black. And I thought to myself, good. Now, you know what, if that person want to identify themselves as being black, that's up to them. But I hope people don't just want to identify themselves as being black if they're mixed race. Just because they're around black people, they want to fit in. If you feel like you need to fit in with people, you're weak. You're weak. You're a follower. Even when I was in a gang, I wasn't actually a member of one particular gang. I used to walk around my green bandana and stuff like that now and then. But in my area, in my age group, there was two official gangs. And I used to be in the middle. I used to roll with both of them. I knew everyone. And one time they told me when they were starting to go at each other, there was tension. You're going to need to pick a side. I ain't picking nothing. I'll be on my own. I'm not picking no sides. Always been like this. Always been like this. Always been a lone wolf. So people need to be more self-centered. Don't let society shame you for thinking that you're high, you know, highly of yourself. Society wants everyone to fit in. Just be another number. I ain't no number. So if you're mixed race, embrace being mixed race. It's cool. You don't have to be on the black side or be on the white side. There's no problem with being mixed race. Stay wise.